Okay, great. So I'm just going to look at question 10. And this question is really asking you to, to kind of, um, let's look at, let's look at, um, absorption costing. Sorry. Um, yes, absorption costing or the better refined, the better version, activity based costing. So what you can see here is they've done some kind of, um, some kind of way of looking at this um, based on um, overheads at normal absorption costing. That's what they have here. Because you see, absorption costing, as I said earlier on in the earlier question, is always about overheads. I don't have a problem with direct costs. My problem is with overheads. So the, 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 they're telling me that somehow, with that, they, they're, they've found a way to, to, to tell me, to give me some better information um, about um, we can drill down, we can focus a bit more on labor and tell you what's actually causing the cost. Now, I mean, I haven't tested it, but I'm going to test it here now just to prove, just to show you what I mean. Look at this labor overhead. This is £30. So the actual full labor overhead is 30 which is per unit, 30 times 1,000 plus 20 times 500. I mean, this must be the total um, labor overhead. Here I have 30,000. Here I have 10,000. And when I add these together, my answer is 40,000. If you add these three things together, you get 40,000. So what absorption costing is telling you is that instead of just splitting this 40,000 based on units, which is what we did here, which is just typical absorption costing, we can actually break it down and tell you what's causing it. So we, we, that means we can now have a better way of splitting this overhead, right, than just assuming it's driven by units, because we're saying, no, it's driven by by these guys. You can see because this product A requires 70% of processing, so they should take 70% of these costs, and product B should take 80% of these costs, and product C should take, sorry, product A, A, A should take, they should take that amount. So I'm just going to do that. So it means that in terms of trying to recalculate, so basically my task is to recalculate the labor overhead. I don't have any information about the machine overhead, so I'll have to accept that it is driven by units. Probably it is because they're not telling us, but they just want us to focus on labor. So the argument then becomes that if processing for 10, 000, for 1,000 units of A and 500 units of B, I have a total of processing of 22,000 and it tells me to split it in the ratio 70% to, you can see here, 70% for A, so therefore 30% for B. So if I do 70%, if I do 70% times 22,000, I get 15,400 and therefore here I get 6,600. Okay, great. And let me now look at this quality control of 8,000. I'm told that this is 80% of this, of this, 80% of this figure must go for A. So 80% times 8,000 is 6,400. And therefore 1,600 must go. This is just a total. This is just to make, make sure I keep the record. And here I have 10,000. And here 62% will go to A. So that's 6,200 and therefore 3,800. The question is asking me to focus on B. <clears throat> so the total overhead for B is the 6,600 plus the 1,600 plus the 3,800. So that means I have a total here. When I add all these together, because this is the total overhead for B, I get 12,000 and I'm making 500 units so therefore the overhead per unit is 12,000 divided by 500 units which is 24. So initially we had here 20 so this is actually less than what it should be this it's actually 24 if you like that that that, <clears throat> that is there per unit and if I was if the question had asked about a you would have done all of this divided by 10,000. I mean, we can do it just because. Let's just do it for the sake of it. 15,400 plus 6,400 plus 6,200. So that's 28,000. 
divided by 1,000 units, which gives you 28 pounds. So this would have been, therefore, 28. <clears throat> okay, great. So now I can, the question says, what would be the profit of using product B? So, well, um, I'm selling each for 80, you can see from here. So now I have a machine overhead of 20, labor overhead of 24, and direct costs of 30, of course, right? That's a 30. I, I, I'm replacing this now with 24, and um, the machine costs were 20. So add all these together, and you have um, 20, 44, 44 plus 30, 74. So 80 minus 74 gives you six pound of profit. So the answer is C, six pounds of profit. Cool, great, I hope that's helped.